Hi, it's me again. And if you're a regular viewer, you might remember that ages ago, I filed a load of FOI requests to find out how the police are involved with the TV license enforcement procedures, how many times they've been called out to attend TV license visits by the goons. And uh, yeah, I, I, I had a few responses back and we talked about them, but I, to be honest, I've been so busy with everything and moving and that, I forgot all about it. And I had an email today, I thought, oh yeah, I forgot about that. So I've got a few more responses. There's a couple possibly we've talked about, but there's a couple more. And I think they're quite interesting. So I thought just off the cuff today, I haven't, I've, all I've done is, is downloaded them and given a couple of them a quick glance. So I've got, what we got here, about seven. So I thought we could just go through them, go through them together because it's quite interesting. Because the goons, if you're new to all of this and you're new to the TV license thing, many people believe that these door-to-door -door salesmen have some power, like they're bailiffs, like they're police, something like that. And I don't condone watching stuff, you shouldn't be watching, as you well know. But if you get knocked on, like your door gets knocked on by one of these people, they're nothing important. They are no more than door-to-door -door salespeople. That's it. They don't have any powers. They don't have any powers of entry unless you let them in. They don't have any powers to put their foot in the door to keep knocking. You say, no thanks, mate, and they will have to go away. And if you film it, they have to report that to their superiors as well. And I never used to suggest filming it, but if you do get knocked, your door does get knocked by one of these door-to-door -door salesmen from TV licensing. Do record it for your own uh, for your own protection. So let's have a look at let's have a look at some of these because why would the police be called out? For they can't, they wouldn't just call the police because they're doing a visit. You know, they've gone through the database, they find out that you're unlicensed, they're in the area, they're going to knock on your door and try and flog you a license, right? They can't call the police out for that. They would only ever call the police out for a breach of the peace or if they've got a warrant, which is quite rare, as we're about to find out, I would imagine. So, what we got here uh, Nottinghamshire Police. Okay, all right, so this is the response to the FOI. So let's cut through all the rubbish. Uh, here's the response. So in 2017, they didn't respond to any instance. In 2018, one time a police officer aided a TV license enforcement officer. 2020, there was one. 2021, there was one. 2022, there was two. And in 2023 up till March, which is when they sent me this, there were none. So a total of five since 2017 in Nottingham. So they, like I said, they wouldn't just call the police just to stand there while they enforce or try and flog you a license. Right? It's got to be caused by something like a breach of the peace or possibly they've been there before and it's all kicked off and they've asked for a police presence just in case there is a breach of the peace, something like that. So the standard advice I always give stands. Be polite, say no thank you mate, and close the door in their face. There'll be no police, there'll be no warrants, there'll be no trouble. Right, let's have a look. Is there any more? Where are we? So this is, who's this? Uh, Merseyside Police. Okay. From the results, none of the cases related to police officers' attendance in aid to a TV license investigation. So in the last five years, Merseyside Police, none. Next, uh, Bedfordshire. I need to put my glasses on or zoom this computer in. I'll tell you, I must be getting old. Right, so... Uh, 2017 there was one, 2018 there was one, 2019 there was four, busy year. 2020 and 2021, none. What's to be scared of? I know so many people that talk to me, like my mum for instance, when she cancelled her TV licence, she was petrified of getting a knock on the door. This is how they sell licences to people that don't require them. At that time, my mum genuinely didn't require one. She streamed everything but she was just living in fear of the door being knocked on by one of these goons. They don't have any power. Just shut the door, no thank you. No, no trouble will happen. I mean, you shouldn't be watching stuff you shouldn't be watching. But the only way they would know is if you tell them or let them in. If you don't talk to them, I mean, you can't do that. Anyway, uh, Norfolk. When responding to her, oh yeah, this is one of them ones, right? Where they say, getting this information is gonna cost them more than 450 quid in effort. So Norfolk Police can't answer this question, but loads of other police forces have managed to do it quite simply and easily and a lot quicker than Norfolk came back to me. So how's that work then? How's that work, Norfolk Police? If anyone from Norfolk Police is watching this, how's that work then? All right, what's the next one? Staffordshire Police. Oh, yeah, they've actually answered, look. All right. 
So between the 1st of April 17 and the 31st of March 22, there were six incidents in the Staffordshire Police area that fit the criteria of your request. So they've managed to answer it, but Norfolk Police can't. No idea. I should appeal, really, but it's just not worth the ag for one answer, is it? Uh, 17 to 8, there was 4. 18 to 19, there was 2. So uh, people kicking off in Staffordshire <laughs> over the TV licence goons knocking on their door. Okay. What have we got here? South Yorkshire Police. They've managed to answer it as well, Yorkshire Police. 2018, there was none. 19, there was one. 20, there was none. 21, there was two. 22, there were none. If this doesn't set your mind at ease that there's nothing to be worried about by closing the door in the goons' faces, I don't know what it is. If, they can't do anything else, right? The only way you could get into trouble over TV licenses, every court case and every you know, drama that you see and the fines and everything for TV license offences in the court came about by being you having your door knocked on by one of the goons and you grassing yourself up. Now, don't watch stuff you shouldn't be watching. Stick to the rules. Don't watch a recording that's been broadcast use BBC iPlayer. But the only way they would know if you're doing anything is when they knock on your door, you shit yourself and tell them. Or let them in. You don't have to. Close the door. No, thank you. Nothing can happen. The police aren't going to turn up and kick your door in and raid it with a SWAT team. Not going to happen. Right, Leicestershire Police. Oh, uh, Leicestershire Police reckon it's going to cost more than 450 quid as well. All the other police forces have managed it, but Leicester and Norfolk, no, not interested. And else we've got Lancashire. Oh, so Lancashire aren't saying anything about the, uh, about the 450 quid thing. They're just saying they searched these search terms in this date range and found nothing. But if you look at what they searched... They search TV license, and it should be a C at the end, not an S. Where's the other E? So it's not surprising that you didn't find any results there. So I should appeal to that one as well, saying actually search right, and you might get me some answers, Lancashire Police. Absolutely. The police are useless generally, but that is properly useless, isn't it? Suffolk Constabulary. Right, what you got for me, Suffolk? A further search was undertaken of the crime system for the same word as TV licence, which returned no relevant results. So, there you go. They managed to do it properly, but uh, who was it? Lancashire and Norfolk, not capable of doing it. So, please don't, if you're new to the whole TV licence and you're thinking of cancelling your TV licence and you're concerned about the scary letters, first of all, don't, the letters are absolutely ridiculous. I've covered so many of the letters on this channel. There's a playlist, click my name. Go and look at the playlist of the letters. There's nothing to be worried about with the letters. Just ignore them. If you're concerned like my mum was about getting a visit, there is no, they are, you've got to remember in your head, they're door-to-door -door salesmen. So just pretend they're trying to sell you dusters or go back to the 70s and they're trying to sell you a vacuum cleaner or something. You're not interested. You don't want to buy what they're selling. No, thank you, mate. Shut the door. They can't put a foot in the door. They can't keep knocking at your door. They can't bust in with a SWAT team. It doesn't happen. Yeah, all right, there are warrants that are issued, but they are very few and far between. I think there's less than five a year at the minute from what I managed to gather, which isn't many, is it? And you can't, they can't just turn up at the court and get a warrant for everybody. They have to have some kind of evidence to back it up, some kind of suspicion to back it up. You know, I've been licensed free nearly 10 years. I do this. I preach to people about it. If they were going to get a warrant for anybody, wouldn't they get a warrant for me? They must know where I live. Nothing. I've been completely left alone. I get letters every month. But I, I haven't had a visit in years. When I first cancelled, I did the no license needed declaration. Because I'd been paying for the license and that address anyway. So they had my details, so it doesn't matter. And I got a visit quite quick. I didn't handle it. I didn't know a lot about it back then. But it was quite a friendly chap, got away with it. And then I had to renew the no license needed declaration in two years. For some reason, they make you renew it every two years. I did that, and I got another visit, handled it better. It was, no thanks, mate, shut the door. And I have not had a visit since. I've moved about a bit, granted. But like my last address was classed as unlicensed. I've got loads of letters about it. This address I've been in for a good few months now. Loads of letters classed as unlicensed. Still no knock on the door. It's nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to be concerned about. So hopefully that's set your mind at ease. But I think it's interesting how little amounts of times the police have been asked to, to join a TV license enforcement officer on his work. And it, 
you know, I can't back it up, but it's going to be because of breach of the peace. Someone's absolutely kicked off and they phoned the police for a breach of it. Give them half an excuse and they will do it. Because there are videos on here of the police attending for breach of the peace and then, you know, forcing their way in or trying to persuade the homeowner to let them in, stuff like that. Don't kick off. Don't kick off. They've got no right to come into your property. They've got no right to keep knocking on the door. No thanks, mate. Shut the door. So I've got quite a few of these responses now. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put a link to my page on that what do they know for the FOI requests. And uh, you can have a look. You can have a look there. Don't worry. That's not my real surname on there. I just They wouldn't let me be Chili John Carney on there. You have to give a proper name. So that's a nice surname they can have. And if they're reading this and they cancel my account, I'll just start another one. I don't care. Let me know what you think about all this down in the comments below. And uh, as always, thanks for watching and hit the buttons below, all of that stuff. And I'll see you in the next one, whenever that will be. Ta-da!